Hello, Jess Too Good here. Today we're taking a look at the Lego Shop at Home catalog for fall 2005. And right at the front, you can see it has Harry Potter and the Goblet of Fire. Actually, the Graveyard Duel set, which we'll take a look at in a bit. This is so exciting to get to because the Goblet of Fire sets are so rare and sought after. And this was an era where Lego wasn't doing too well. These sets, I don't remember selling too well. Nowadays, because of that, they're hard to find. This original Graveyard Duel set costs only $30, and now you could get it sealed for the good price of about, let's say, $400. So, yeah, very sought-after set. Um, it was one of my most violent LEGO sets, I guess. I don't remember. I think it might have been on that list when I made that, what, two years ago? And the design of this and everything is very dark for a LEGO set. There's just crypts. There's, you know, skeletons coming out. And if you remember the scene from the movie, I mean... This is where Cedric dies, so it's kind of interesting that they made this as a Lego set. This is where, like, Wormtail cuts off his hand or whatever. Like, there's a lot of this stuff going on here. Now, another thing to note with this um, is that the design of this and everything actually has an error. If you see the Harry Potter minifigure they show, and they show it up there as well, does not have the right uh, face print he's supposed to have. Actually, the one on the front has that right face print. So that was just kind of an error that was shown in the promotional images. It might have even been on the box, I'm not entirely sure, but just thought that was a little bit interesting. But yeah, this is a great set. I wish I could get it, but again, it goes for a lot of money. Other little promos included uh, five free gold bricks for the 50th Lego anniversary, which is kind of interesting. And we continue here. We have more of those Goblet of Fire sets. This catalog's in very good condition. I'm gonna be very careful with it. We do have this one right here, which is the Hungarian Horntail. I'm um, sorry, there's a bit of a glare there, but this set I actually own. Yeah, it's this one's another one that goes for a lot sealed. Like, this might be the rarest of all of the sets for Goblet of Fire. It originally retailed for $30 as well, but now you can get it for about $500 sealed. Yeah, I wish I still had mine sealed, but I don't resell LEGO, so I wouldn't really do much with it anyways. The whole thing with this, why I didn't review this or anything, is that dragon, the pieces I cannot find. Like, I have some pieces of it. I posted on my Instagram, which if you haven't followed my Instagram, check the link in the description. But, like, I'm missing the wings. I don't know where the wings is at. I have his body and maybe his face. Um, and then, like, Mad-Eye Moody, I I'm missing a lot of pieces for as well. I used to love the little uh, golden egg right there because they have a magnet. And the magnet is a little bar piece that a minifigure could hold. And that's a separate piece with the golden egg, and then you actually attach it with the magnet. I'm hoping LEGO does remakes of these sets with the new Harry Potter line and everything. Maybe next year. We'll have to wait and see. This one I might get soon, because I just did an eBay auction of this. Um, you know, I bid on it, and I think I'm the highest bidder. Like It's like sealed right now. I think I'm highest bid for 150 so we'll see if that goes through. Uh, my friend had this, actually. Only 20 bucks back in the day, but now this goes for like a good 200 sealed. So, yeah. And then we have the Durmstrang ship. I we always used to say the Drumstrang ship, but it's actually the Durmstrang ship. I did get this one recently in a haul, if you guys remember that. I just have to review it soon, so we'll see how that kind of puts out. Maybe I'll put that in my next review poll on my Patreon. We'll have to wait and see, but yeah, I still have the sealed. Um, the box is kind of damaged, and there was actually a Target exclusive version that included Harry, Ron, Hermione, and Dumbledore, from my understanding. But yeah, got to build this someday. It's just that I don't have the space to really put it anywhere right now. We'll see. So that's a really nice set. Um, that's actually the most expensive one of the wave. I, I'm kind of amazed. It's 50 bucks. But also, it goes for around 200 sealed. So even though it's the most expensive, it's not the most rare to get. That has to be the Hungarian Horntail set and the Graveyard Duel set. Continuing with the costumes, which this one will have a lot of similar stuff from the Summer 2005 catalog, which was last week's catalog we looked at, because this is uh, one season after. So they do have this one right here, which we didn't see last time, I think. Um, this is my first advent calendar I ever got. I actually did get this back in 2005. Can't believe that it was only $17. Wow, that was a good deal. But I wanted it especially because there was this little chef right here, which is awesome. Um, Lego doesn't make too many chef minifigures. Uh, these are kind of interesting, all new 50th anniversary stuff. So you have a Duplo bucket, you have just a Lego bucket right there, and then you have another Lego bucket right there. So these are two our system, and then this one's Duplo. This is kind of interesting because there's some golden pieces in here. You can see it's a thousand pieces for 20 bucks. That's a good deal if you ask me. This one's 10 bucks for 500 pieces. I think there's one golden brick in here, and it looks like there's a few golden bricks in here, so... These are really neat to get. I don't know if they cost a lot secondhand. Even this one has a golden Duplo brick. That's kind of cute. 
Uh, we have the dyno tax stuff, which we looked at last video. So we'll just go over these kind of quickly. Um, I did do a review of that one. I do own another one of these, which you guys will see in an upcoming haul, which should be coming up soon. Just trying to collect all my stuff. Uh, again, lots of repeats from the last catalog video. We have, uh, of course, what is it called? Like, what is it? Yeah, Vladek's Dark Fortress. I just wanted to say Lord Valadek. I, I always used to say Valadek when I was younger, but it's Vladek. And that is a good $100, but it's, it's a cool set. It's definitely one of the Knights Kingdom sets I like. These are just very samey to me. They, they look very similar to each other, so I can't really differentiate them. Maybe one day I'll go on a binge buying all of them. I already talked about a lot of this stuff before. There's these uh, buildable figures over here. Um, there's this Citadel of Orlon. This actually doesn't look too bad. It reminds me of the Drawbridge Defense from Lego Castle 2009, summer 2009. What else do we have? And Bionicle. Again, these minifigure ones that we saw last catalog. Battle of Metronui right there for $80. I know LJ corrected me um, because apparently they had two types of Bionicle minifigures. So they had these right here, which you could see are just one piece. And then the year after, they actually had like more minifigure ones that were made out of different pieces and everything. So once we get to those 2006 catalogs, we'll cover those. Uh, we have this Vizork Battle Ram. Lots of minifigures for that. Look at how many figures are in that sucker. But again, they're just these one pieces. And also we have this uh, Tower of Toa, which is kind of interesting. There's more Bionicle stuff. These are actually the construction figures. Another one of these um, little minifigure sets. More construction figures. Again, kind of breezing through this stuff because we looked at this last week. I should probably zoom out. Get a better look at everything. And I'm trying to be careful with this. It's in good condition. More Bionicle stuff. I don't really have anything to add with this. Wait a minute. This is kind of interesting. Power from the past. So this one, look at this. There was a 50th anniversary uh, Bionicle. I did not know about this. Special edition gold colored um, to Toa Aruni. I can't even say that right. I didn't know about that one. That's kind of funny that they even put 50th anniversary into the world of Bionicle. So, oh man, this is stuck. Again, they got rid of these pages. I really like these pages where they would just have all these pieces listed and you could order specific ones. You already covered that one, but I wanted that. I like how they have pepperoni in there. That's like one of my favorite minifigures. Over here, there is some um, uh, little holiday seasonal stuff. Got some Harry Potter keychains. Again, this is them getting rid of a lot of old stuff. So that cowboy keychain has to be old. I mean, that's like a, a Western thing from like, you know, the, the 90s. It's interesting seeing these little sets. They're trying to get rid of the NBA stuff, uh, the Pirates Ford Junior stuff, which I want to get some of those actually. And again, I was amazed to see this, these two sets on there um, in the last catalog because these are from like the 90s, like 99, 98, around that time. We have our Lego City stuff, which again, last catalog, we kind of discussed this. This reminds me of the Trash Compactor Escape set, one of my favorite Lego Toy Story sets. This is a big, big truck. I mean, holy cajoli. City Sweeper was sold for a while, or sorry, Street Sweeper, which that would be cool if they did a remake of that. I kind of like the Great Vehicles lines of 20 bucks, but I also liked the, look at this, this was five bucks. Like I remember they had the mail van, which was like six bucks. They had the cargo plane, which was like 10 bucks. Nowadays, if they release those, they would be like a $20 set. You know, it's kind of cute when they're in the smaller scale. They're just little gifts you would give for Easter or whatnot. Like this one right here, look, five bucks. This is kind of like a great vehicle. Nowadays, the size of that would be a great vehicle. And police motorcycle, they sold for a while. Uh, this creator designer sets they had in the last catalog. Really not that much new stuff in this catalog. Well, that kind of makes sense. I mean, this was a fall wave. New stuff was the Goblet of Fire um, line. Racer stuff, which covered that in the last catalog. Don't have much interest. This was kind of cool to see with the... Mayersk, I can never pronounce it right, uh, 2005 Sealand, which they have exclusive blue just for Mayersk sets. Again, I'm probably not saying that company name right, but I always thought they it was interesting how they went out of the way for that. This set I really want, but Building Bonanza goes for a lot of money secondhand. Oh, these might be new. Okay, this is going to be interesting. 
Now, these were Lego Factory. If you don't know what Lego Factory was, it was basically an, an early, I guess you could say an early Lego Ideas, but not really, because you would design these sets on, like, Lego Digital Designer. This was when Lego Digital Designer launched. I believe they would greenlight some of them if yours was popular enough, because you could order different creations and stuff from Lego Digital Designer's uh, factory website or whatever. Might be totally off with that. Either way, this is actually where the... What was it? Lego Modular... What was the first one? Cafe Corner... Market Street. Market Street was the first modular building. And the first modular building was a Lego factory set. It wasn't a Lego Creator Expert. It wasn't anything like that. So that was released through here because it was made by fans. Now, this one right here, the amusement park, I really wanted this when I was younger. Um, I, I thought this was like minifigure scale, I guess. I didn't really know it was a miniature, but this set I always tried to get. 70 bucks. But yeah, I was never able to get it because I guess it was really hard to get. I thought this was so cool. But nowadays, I wouldn't really be a fan of it because it's miniature scale. So you have this cool kind of robo destroyer right here. You have this little ski slope. You have like a pirate ride. And you also have this little uh, racing track. That was so cool to me. And you can see these are made by different designers and stuff like that. I wonder where they're now, where they are now. This guy was age 13. Holy crap. And he made two of those. Also, this one I really wanted. I really like the design of this. Um, is it this all? the same one is this all the airport because that's a lot of stuff oh there you go okay yeah skyline is a separate one yeah that's what i thought this is, looks so cool look at this they have like a mini statue of liberty they have this big built like these are really cool miniature scales even if they are miniature scale over here the airport's kind of cool too but yeah i like all these so there you go i'm not really a fan of miniature scale but even back then I kind of saw these as cool, but I thought they were minifigure scale, but now I could still appreciate them. I like the skyline especially, but these are a lot of money secondhand, unfortunately, which makes me sad. Trains, I don't have much commentary to add with these. They're more um, older style trains. I like, you know, the commuter trains, the civilian trains and stuff like that. Uh, Star Wars, we kind of looked at this last catalog video, and you'll be hearing me say that a lot. This is classic. This is classic. I actually own all the sets on this page, I guess. That's kind of cool. Um had these two growing up and then I just got this one like last year I think I reviewed it around Christmas time last year I can't believe that's almost a year ago when I went to like Toys R Us oh, rest in peace Toys R Us and like I got uh, Act 2 Island now I'm just reminiscing about 2017 what is this a whole bunch of Revenge of the Sith stuff again that movie came out in May 2005 so it makes sense for them to have these big spreads and, and just big waves of sets um Lots of classic sets to those who followed the Revenge of the Sith line. General Grievous looked creepy as heck. The clone turbo tank, the original one. This little dude, which I do own. And they have the sand crawler as well as the Death Star 2. Which, I don't know if the Death Star 2 was in there in the last catalog, but this is a crazy set. This was 300 bucks. Nowadays, I think this would be like 700, 800, but wasn't minifigure scale really i mean i guess it's the same size as the death star they have now but like there was no place to really put minifigures but it's just crazy how this looks with it still being built and stuff it, it just looks super cool with all those meticulous little pieces i can't even imagine building that and look at that on display that looks freaking like that honestly looks better than the death star they have now with the you know that's minifigure scale and everything like that um because this the one that's now it's kind of awkward because it it's minifigure scale, so they have these open walls and scenes and stuff. I like this better, where it's, sure, I guess you could say it's micro scale or whatever, but this is just an amazing, like, look, if you have that on display on your table, like, that's freaking awesome. That looks gorgeous. I really hope they'll do another one of those, honestly, something like that, uh, because it just looks gorgeous. And let me see if there's anything on the back. Uh, yeah, I just don't want to reveal this guy's address that I bought it from, but... This is the Dark Fortress. Look at this. Uh, Attack from the Sea. This actually looks kind of cool. I don't remember seeing this in the last catalog. I think I would have remembered this. Might have been like a retail exclusive or something like that. But not only do you have this little fortress back here, but also you have this uh, set, uh, this little boat right here. I actually kind of want to look this up. So that's 65... Whoa, wait. 65767. Huh. I wonder what's going on there because that's that's a that's a five digit number back in that day they did not use five digit numbers is that a mistake or is this just like a, a really hard to find retail exclusive is this a set that puts two sets together i i'm going to find out more about this right now after this video 
Anyways, that's attack from C. But hope you guys enjoyed this video, and I don't think I have much else to add. Stay tuned as we're going through, basically, I think it was, what, fall 2004, or summer 2004, all the way till I think I have, like, a 2006 winter catalog. I don't know. But we'll be covering these as the weeks progress. So I'll see you guys later. Peace out. Bye.